I think a lot of people forget that the Rock's last match was against you. Yeah, well, it was a short one. <laughs> I don't know why you got to remind me of this. That's an honor. You know, you say it's an honor, but then I started really thinking about it. Some, some, some fan came into the signing today, and he was wearing uh, the Rock's Brahma Bowl like, uh, shirt, and I was like, really? Like, come on, you got to put this in my face. He starts laughing. <laughs> and it got me thinking, what does Brahma Bowl stand for? So what does the Brahma stand for? So I looked it up because mm. I, was, I was curious. Brahma is the Hindu god. That means the creator. The creator bowl. Mm. So it got me thinking, mm. what, 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 is, what, is, what the hell does that mean? I really want to know, like, how, how did he come up with that? And you're the kind of guy to be able to ask him that question. I will ask him this so next time. please find out why he wanted to be the Brahma bull. That's like me being the Loki sheep. That's you pretty know, good, too. The god of mischief. That's pretty but good. But a sheep. Hmm. I mean, it's ridiculous sounding, but it actually might work. But I, don't you feel like this is a nice notch on the belt to say, like, yeah, The Rock's last match is against me. And I shouldn't feel bad because he's a, technically a Hindu god? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I just think that people go back to like, oh, it must be Cena, right? It must be WrestleMania 29. Cena, 29, yeah. The twice in a lifetime match. Oh, yeah. But no, it was, was it 32? It was WrestleMania 32. Yeah. How did you be the, how were you the guy for that? Uh, because Braun couldn't be beat. They had to protect uh, Wyndham, and uh, and John had uh, just uh, suffered a torn patella, so it would have been paper rock scissors between me and John taking the quickest pin. So, yeah, I just happened to win the short straw on that one. Again, this is this should be an honor, <laughs> no? Huh? It should be an honor. You shared a ring with a rock. No, like as Joseph Rude. Yeah, yes, it was an honor. As Eric Rowan, it was humiliating. Mm. Was there, and I'll speak to Joseph here. Yes. Was there talk of it, like how fast were they trying to make this match? The fastest in history. But were they like, okay, rock bottom, one, two, three, the match could be done in five seconds, four seconds, six seconds, seven, like did they? They just said rock bottom, one, two, three. Okay. They want to get it done before 10 seconds or oh. eight seconds, whatever the so record So they could break, beat the yes, record. Absolutely. Because the rock jumps on you for that pin. Like I've never seen the rock go for a pin ever. I, I'm really appreciative of that. He didn't do the Randy Orton pin <laughs> where he hits the RKO, does a couple poses. Yeah. And slowly goes on the guy. Well, then it would, he wouldn't have beaten the record then. Did, at what point do they tell you you're going to be having a match with the rock? Uh, like the day before. And your reaction? Uh, I'm not in the Andre the Giant Battle Royale. <laughs> I was supposed to say that angrily, but I didn't. <laughs> it's The Rock! <laughs> no, exactly. So, you know, it, it could have had worse things to do that weekend. And I think you are severely underselling how cool this is. I, see, it, it's, it's weird to me, because it's like, it's, it's work. And yeah, you have fun, cool moments and things that stick out in your head. Uh, was that the coolest moment I had in the ring? No. I've been fortunate enough to do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, it was it was cool. But like, was that the dream I had as a child? No. 